We'd like to welcome you this evening to South Lancaster Academy's annual Christmas musical program. And tonight we are featuring our middle and high school students. We pray that you'll be richly, uh, richly blessed by the God-given talents of our students this evening. And I now give you our students under the direction of Lyra Kitty, our music director. Beloved in Christ, this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels and to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us hear again the Holy Scripture, the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience until the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this house of prayer glad with our music and praise. But first, because this of all things would rejoice Jesus' heart, let us pray to him for the needs of the whole world and all his people. For peace upon the earth he came to save, for love and unity within the one church he did build, for goodwill among all peoples. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor, the cold, the hungry, the oppressed, the sick, and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, we praise and honor the Lord Jesus, who is our hope in the word made flesh. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven. In the words that Jesus himself has taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
fallen man and the plan of salvation. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any of the trees of the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the idol of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will surely not die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food, and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made covering for themselves. Then the man of his, the, then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, "Where are you?" He answered, "I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid." And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The, one you, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly, and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put in midi between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pains in childbearing. With pain you will give birth to your children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. To Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat all of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it it were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, by, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Blessings I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, as the sand of which the sea soar. And your descendants shall process the gate of their enemies. In your seed, all nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice.
foretells the coming of the Savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continuously, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with, with, with justice and righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord will, of hosts will do this.
A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a brand will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of power, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide but what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give the decisions of the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with, his, with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will say the wicked. Rich, righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the ghost. The, gaff, the calf and the lion and the yearling together. And a little child will eat them. The cow will feed with the bear. The, their young will lie down together and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra and the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain for the earth will be filled full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate the miracle of Jesus' birth and the promise of the salvation that he offers. Sometimes in the busyness of this season, we can forget what is tr truly important here. And today, I had too many things squeezed into too few hours. As I rushed from one thing to another, this song came up on my playlist by Amy Grant. I need a silent night, a holy night, to hear an angel voice through the chaos and the noise. I need a midnight clear, a little peace right here, to end this crazy day with a silent night. I want to thank you to our students and to Mrs. Katie for providing that for us here tonight. This was a gift for me. Um, 
that, and that's the beauty of music, that it can take us out of the chaos and out of the noise to get to the heart so that we can reflect on what is truly important. At this time, we'll be collecting an offering to support the students and as they continue to minister in music. And it's not only for us now, but also for the skills that they can use for the rest of their lives to bless others. So we have some eighth graders that will be collecting the offering. And then we will pray. We will pray first. Our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the students here tonight sharing their gifts and their love for you. We so appreciate the gift of music and the gift of your son, Jesus. I pray that as we leave, we go with a heart full of the peace that only you can give. Please bless each one giving and each one receiving this offering so that it may be used to serve you. Amen. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a, villain, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. <clears throat> he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? 
the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her.
This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord had appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expe expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in an inn.
And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and, a, and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to man on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, the, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. from the east came to Jerusalem asking where is the child who has been born king of the Jews for we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage when King Herod heard this he was frightened and all of Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born they told him in Bethlehem of Judea for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring, 
Bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God, his name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords, and he shall reign forever and ever.
Wow. Amen. Thank you so much, young people, for a glorious evening, a celebration of the mystery and the joy of the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for your talent, for your willingness to use your talent in such a glorious way. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, tonight our heart rejoices. We want to thank you so much for the gift of music. We thank you for the gift of salvation that came that Christmas Eve, born in a manger, wrapped in grave clothes, a human being who gave up his glory of heaven for each one of us. Father, may we accept this gift of salvation and may we share the joy of that salvation with everyone we come in contact with. This Christmas season, may we be a bright, shining light. These things we pray in your heavenly name. Amen. Good night, everybody. <laughs>